Yo, what's the deal? It's your boy Transit Van Don. I'm back with another video. Shout out to each and every one of y'all for liking, subscribing. Let me know each one, teach one. Let me know this information is good information. Let me know that it's helping. That's what I aim for. It's not no clickbait shit. It's not for me to tell y'all a bunch of bullshit that does not matter, that does not apply. This is just the solely the real. This channel is dedicated to being authentic. That's the number one thing I want to do. Making money and all that other stuff is fine, but at the end of the day, you want to be authentic. You want to make sure you're giving the right information and not just out here for clickbait. So speaking of right information, I got 12 things that you need on hand, on file, while you're trying to get contracts. Let's get into number one. The number one thing that I feel like you need, the first thing is the business mindset. And when I say the business mindset, I mean, this shit is not what everybody try to make it seem it's not the easiest thing in the world it's not the hardest thing in the world what you put in is what you get out so with that being said if you got to be up at five o'clock in the morning can you ask yourself i'm gonna get up at five to get this load i'm gonna get up at six to get this load i'm gonna watch my phone every day i'm gonna keep my apps open because if i don't this job might come through and i'm, I'm not hitting it in time why am i not getting it in time People is out here, they living and sleeping and dying on these apps. So if you take too long, you're going to miss out on a good load. You get a load that's worth having. If you're not quick and savvy with it, you're going to lose that load. And you got to have faith that this is going to come back again. You got to have faith that my contract might be slow this month or fast this month. You never know. I got contracts that's moving fast. I got contracts that's moving slow. These last couple of weeks has been slow. I've got, I canceled one contract, got another contract. I show up there today. It was some bullshit. Now I got time to talk to y'all because I'm normally busy on the road. So at the end of the day, keeping your mindset right. I didn't curse nobody out. I showed up on time. I showed the supervisor and I showed the third party company that, yo, I'm the guy that you need to be dealing with. So tomorrow might be a better day for me. It might be a slow day. The reality is you don't know. So when it's going good for you, you want to make sure you're saving and doing what you need to be doing. When it's going bad for you, you want to make sure you got something in the tank to keep your business alive. And that's the thing that's going on. These rates are the same. They're not going up. And the cost of living is going up. The gas is still high no matter where you at. So it's like you want to make sure you have the, the good mindset to get out here and drive with a clear mind so you don't have to worry about getting into accidents and nothing like that so i say to you yo do you have the business mindset make sure you're moving as a business you're promoting your business you're professional at all times and that's the way that you need to be to guarantee that you get some contracts and to guarantee that your business is going to be fine you feel me number two the second thing that you need when you talk to these jobs a lot of times they want a picture of your license so instead of having to go take a picture of your license and, you know, do what you got to do, just have one on file. Take a picture of the front, take a picture of the back and have it stored away. So when somebody asks you for that, you don't got to go find your license or if you're irresponsible, you lost your license, you don't know where it's at, whatever, whatever. Make sure you have that on file so you can just send it off with no problem. The third thing that you need, you need your VIN number. And why is this important? Because when you're trying to um, get insurance, the main thing you're going to do for a lot of guys and a lot of girls that's out there that don't have a van that want to know what the rates are the numbers are what the insurance going to be what's available the first thing these people are going to ask you is for your name your license and they're going to ask you um what is your vin number what is the vin based off of the, the van you got or what is the vin based off of the van that you're looking for so that we can give you an accurate number on how much your insurance is going to be or for us just to know what vehicle that you're using uh to work with our company so you want to make sure you know your VIN number and have that on file as well. The fourth thing you need is your plate number because that's how they identify you. So you want to have your plate information. Number five, the fifth thing that is important is for you to know your measurements. This is very important because you're working with certain companies. They want to know how big your van is. In a lot of cases, they want sprinter vans. They want the extra long space so they can move more freight and then pay you less then they would have to pay a box truck and pay a semi. So you need to know your measurements. And this is important. You need to measure it yourself because the dealership ain't going to measure it for you. You need to get a tape measure, measure your joint out, your height, your width, everything. Because you want your shit to be accurate. Because if not, you show up, you drive an hour to pick something up. You tell them this and then they go off of that. And they book you based off of that. And 
you get there and it can't fit now you look bad you look unreliable you wasted gas you wasted time this is on you why because you should know your motherfucking measurements you feel me number six you need your insurance declaration page rather if it's the hundred thousand or three hundred thousand coverage rather if it's the million with the hundred thousand cargo or 750 i say million because a lot of places uh, a lot of businesses a lot of warehouses they want you to have the million amazon relay wants you to have the million because it's extra uh coverage on the stuff that you're going to be moving as well with the hundred thousand and they want your uh to see what your damage is going to be for your insurance as well so the reason why this is important because everybody asks for insurance before you can get um, a contract they want to know are you insured so having your insurance information is very key and essential to getting your contracts number seven they need three pictures of your van some people want to know exactly what van you're driving they want to know if you got any decals on it or if you got a clean white van some people it matters to them because they want you to put their logo on your shit so it's one of those type of situations. So, you know, three pictures and that helps people get an understanding of what your measurements are. So you need your measurements definitely, but you also need those three pictures so they can know exactly, you know, what you push. Number eight, the most important thing, that W9, baby, I'm about this money. Now you can fill this joint out manually, but for me, I got the same W9. All W9s look the same. I saved it and I just copy and paste send it off i don't fill it out none of that because all w9s are, are the same so i would have a w9 on file so it's easy you apply to five ten different places you want to have all the stuff that i'm telling you already in the spot you don't want to have to go here or there filling out applications is not fun uh, finding contracts is not fun so to make your job easier i really highly suggest you follow these steps to make your job easier here number nine avoid a check to go with your w9 so that um people know that your information is right your business is right they can't mess up because they got the picture of the check they see what's going on so there's no way they can mess up your routing your account number and that's a way for them to realize or to know that you are a real business and got a business account going number 10 your mvr your motor vehicle records this is to know that yo i'm hiring this person i'm bringing this person on they don't got a bunch of accidents they're not going to be a problem they're reliable your record says it all so your mvr is definitely going to be important that's definitely something that you you can't use like you can go get one if they ask you to but you can't like reuse it so every time you get into a situation somebody asks for it, it has to be a fresh situation so don't think oh i got my joint already they don't care they want you to fill out their situation and they'll they'll know for sure because you might have did this a couple months ago you might got an accident since then and you know nobody said nothing about it they don't know so they're going to do their own mvr check on you but you know you this is something that y'all know um just so that you're not surprised when they actually go get it 11 this is more so on the equipment side of things you want your ratchet straps that's going to help you a lot it's been plenty of times that i did it the hard way and i messed up an order and that was a negative reflection on me so you want to make sure you know how to ratchet strap look on youtube like you're looking at me now go on youtube and find out how to work them joints because it'll save you um a lot when you out here in traffic when i'm dealing with delivering paint and i don't want paint rolling all around or paint messing up my van i ratchet strap everything down ratchet strap that save you a lot of headaches so make sure you have them joints and the 12th thing that i would say is moving blankets when you get in these furniture and people on you and they help you move it and they see a van your van is beat down it's destroyed do it a lot you got to put the blankets down and make sure that you don't mess nobody's stuff up because people will complain people always looking for a way out to get a discount and people always looking for a way to make some make you the blame of what the what the issue is so you don't never want to give nobody nothing to say upon your name so if you touch a furniture you're moving stuff around make sure you have moving blankets trust me you're and that's the 12 things that i suggest that you need before you get your contracts it's your boy man treasure van don i'm out of here like subscribe i'm gonna see you on the other side man i got some more stories to tell some more information and knowledge to give y'all you're one